You're on. This is the Tier 2 meeting uh, from Jefferson School in Harvard, Illinois. And we'll start with introductions. Go ahead. I am Julie Tice, and I am the check-in, check-out, and FBA VIP facilitator. And I'm Nancy Bradley, co-internal coach for Tier 2. And I'm Sally Halock, co-internal coach for Tier 2. I'm Annette Collins. I'm the data analyst for Tier 2 and also for Tier 1. I'm Melissa Diaz, school social work intern. I'm Amaria Matthews, and check-in, check-out. And I'm Judy Floater, the principal of Jefferson School. So we will start our meeting today with meeting norms. Melissa? All right, our meeting norms and expectations are to be respectful, be respectful of outside media and other technology, limit sidebar conversations, start and finish on time, be responsible, come prepared, stay on topic, and when you're absent, review the minutes and seek clarification if questions arise. And be safe. Honor confidentiality, the data, and students. And encourage and facilitate open exchange of ideas. Thank you. We will begin with our previously defined problem on the left column of the screen. Two weeks ago when we met, we uh, presented data 37 out of 48 students, 77% of check-in, check-out students were averaging 80% or better for their points during the four weeks prior to that meeting. Um, so we are happy with the progress with the group as a whole. We were moving on then to concentrate on the 20 students who would begin in, uh, new SAIG groups. Um, they were just beginning that week. Um, going into the new interventions, 11 of the 20, or 55%, were averaging 80% or better for their DPR points. So, um, under the column goal, with timeline, we set a goal to maintain 70% or more of the check-in, check-out students averaging at the 80% goal, and also increasing the averages for the SAIG students by um, March 21st. So um, we had solution actions including we knew um, going into those SAIG groups we needed to explain the new um, specific DPR sheet that those kids would use. We would have to explain that to the students, the teachers, and the mentors and that we would share their current data with them, you know, have let them know what their baseline was and um, what their goal would be. And then they would begin charting or graphing their averages um, bi-weekly. So the timeline for that would be again March 21st. And um, now we're reporting out based on that goal as of the end of last week, as of Friday, we now have 53 students in check-in, check-out with 77% responding. So the percentage stayed the same, but the, with the SAIG students, we actually increased to 60% responding. So we, we did uh, see some, some improvement with that group already. Now if you can scroll down to new problem statement. At our pre-meeting on Friday, we took that data, the current data, and then we're reporting, again, um, same percentage, 77% of check-in, check-out students as a whole responding. During the same period, 60% of the SAIG students averaging 80% or above. So um, we did some talking at our pre-meeting and um, came up with some ideas. Julie is one of our SAG leaders. <coughs> um, is it easier for you to read off of there? Sure. Yeah. Um, we decided that we did share the new data with the SAG students. Um, and celebrated the increase in percentages. Um, we had the students update their data log sheets by coloring in the percentages. You know, Amarian, when you color in. Yeah. And we all talk about moving up. And what's our goal? Uh, to get 95 or 100. 
Yeah, eighty anything oh. over eighty percent, right? Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so we we retaught the importance of that and reinforced the importance of learning new skills and how those new skills are transferred into the classroom. And that's what the mm -hmm. teachers. That's how you earn your points. Um, the specific skills that are learned in group, you get to practice in the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, so we talked about really what the check-in, check-out sheets are for with the kids, and we reinforced the fact that they don't have to earn all of their points, mm -hmm. that sometimes, sometimes kids feel like ditching their sheets if they have a bad mm -hmm. period, but we, we talk about y you, can, you can have a bad period, but then earn your points in the rest mm -hmm. of the day, right? So you don't need to rip it up or throw it out. It's still re you can still have a really good day, even if part of your day isn't the best. Yeah. Good. yeah, very good. So we've set a new goal to uh, continue or maintain 70% or more of our check-in, check-out students averaging 80% or better and increasing the averages for the SAIG students. And then, um, Annette, I don't know if you want to work off of the data page or off of the tracking tool. We'll have Sally pull up the tracking tool. This is the time of the month when we report out on the tracking tool. So if you would rather report off of here. We've talked about the some of the data, but um, if you can cover everything on the tool. All right, so in check-in, check-out, we have 53 students. 41 of them are um, responding, that's 77%, that's 77%. Um, in the social academic groups, we have 20 students in groups, 12 of those students are responding, that's 60%. For students with individualized features, there are three of those stu students with individualized features, 100% of them are responding. And we have five students with brief FBA, F BAs or BIPs, and four or 80% of those students are responding, and one student with complex behavior plan, and that student is not, is not responding yet. So. Okay, thank you. Oh, and um, just for our percentages, we're currently at 14% of our total school population. So um, we're, we're still in the acceptable range. We're getting a little a little heavy mm -hmm. time to start, you know, looking at more students for graduation, um, which we do ongoing. So, exactly, right? Yeah, fifth graders leaving our building. So, I think we're ready to go into our general business. If you can scroll, let's see. Yeah, let's go over in the area of PBIS evaluations. This is the time of year we like to do some self-evaluation of our systems. So um, we did, um, Julie and the coaches, we did look through um, the critical features assessment. Do you want to report out on those results? Sure. Um, we did the 10 critical features. It's just kind of a checkup for all of our tier two interventions. Um, we earned all 20 points for check and check out all 20 points for SAG, all 20 points for check and check out with individual features, um, and 18 points for the behavior plan intervention. We have some work to do in the staff handbooks. We have to add um, a little bit more information about how staff members and or parents or anybody, just the process of having a behavior plan and how to monitor that. So we have some action steps that we need to follow through on. Okay, I think we have that recorded. Um, another topic that we've kind of been throwing around, and Melissa is going to kind of take the lead on this one. Um, we thought it might be good as part of evaluation to do some feedback, get some feedback from our check-in, check-out students. So um, can you talk about that to the group? Yeah, I was thinking actually asking Omarion to maybe help us out, come up with some questions yeah. that we can ask to some of the other check-in, check-out kids to see what <coughs> they like, what they're learning, and kind of hear what they think about it. Yeah. So maybe we'll come up with some questions to ask them, and we can 
Sounds get their good. input. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You'll help us come up with some good questions. Yes. Yeah, awesome. for the check and check out kids and the kids in say. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we could do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. how we um, improve. Good idea. So if you guys can work on that, maybe by, you know, not our next meeting, but maybe by the end of April, okay. we can work on that. You think you guys could get together? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll find the time. Super. Then um, we also um, have done some talking about using um, kind of a walkthrough um, just to mm -hmm. get a, a bit of a pulse on the staff. And um, I don't know what... Um, describe what that might look like. Well, Sally, didn't you come up with that idea about, you know, Universal always has to do that walkthrough right. where we through. ask what the expectations are, ask mm -hmm. kids and staff if, you know, what are the three expectations of Marian? Responsible, we safe, and responsible. Yeah, nice. yeah. And have you, have you earned a B-buck in the last couple of weeks? Yes. Do you remember what it was for? Mm -hmm. Check in, check out. Yep, oh, there you go. Nice. So um, we thought that uh, a natural <coughs> time to do that, Sally, mm -hmm. you came up with the idea, would be during the third quarter celebration? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can catch a lot of people. Every quickly. student and every staff member is mm -hmm. going to rotate through mm -hmm. those celebration rotations. Mm -hmm. So somebody could just be planted there and, yeah. and pull people. Um, who, who might kind of be available. Yeah, well, who do you think? Maybe um, even a couple of our mentors yep. could probably do that. But would they record the data? Mm -hmm. so they yeah. Have to, they have to Just kind of a tally. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a little tally sheet okay. yeah. as part of the um, phases of it, or the um, tiered okay. fidelity. And probably the gym all day, so I can do that. You can do that. Okay. All right. Put yourself on that. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Uh, we also, at our last coaches meeting, um, we were made aware, you know, we should sit down with the external coach and complete what's called the TFI, and um, we have to actually submit that for recognition. So um, that should probably be you and I, Sally. Need to take care of that by the end of the week. How about? Okay. <laughs> All right. Then, uh, when you're ready, Let's scroll down to sharing data. Um, our next building-wide meeting is April 14th. And we, what, what did you guys think about showing the tracking tool at the last meeting? I mean, did that, is that make, does that make sense to the staff so. as a whole? I think it does. It's pretty easy for them to see. Okay. I think it's and nice. I think, for it's, I think it's helpful for them to know as we yeah. are having more and more students in the SAG groups. Mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, changes in right. the where we're at, right. kids in the right. groups. And the progress. Okay. So that's coming up. Um, under the area of parent contact, um, just reporting out from February, 25% of our parents did sign um, DPRs and return them. Um, we also had the student-led conferences, so that would have been a lot of parent contact. Uh, we've been trying real hard this year for Tier 2 to get information out in the, the school newsletter. So we kind of gradually gave information about um, mm -hmm. Tier 2. And so now in March, we'll just kind of pass that around. Sure. In the March newsletter, we did tell parents that, you know, they certainly can refer students, and we gave them some contact information for that. Mm -hmm. um, and inviting them to join our team. Yeah, yeah, we're excited to have Omarion on our team. Yeah, very yeah. good. Uh, let's see, parent contact also with the report cards. We sent home averages um, along with the report cards. We did our little raffle tear off again. Mm -hmm. So uh, students who bring those little parent signatures back, they go in a drawing for something. Your mom could win. You know how you, you always know win? Your mom could win. The purple paper. Bring back the sign bottom okay. part, and yeah. It was in your report card. It told your mom about your percentage, mm -hmm. your your DPR points. So we need somebody to grab a gift card. I can do that. Can you do that? <coughs> do you want Subway again, or? <coughs> Is that what we did? Subway's good. Okay. Subway's safe, if you Subway's think. Subway's good. Yeah. yeah. So 
sounds good. So, yeah, just whenever you can get that. We actually had a couple returned already today. $10 again, do you think? Sure. Is that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe even by the end of the week. We should probably go ahead and do that um, before break. Approved, so. Oh, right. Right. Our Ooh. Popcorn Friday fundraisers were approved. Okay. Cool. Um, meeting dates for our team. Our next meeting is the 21st. The next internal coaches meeting is the 20th. That will be at Crosby. Then in the area of staff training, um, staff uh, in April. Um, Annette, um, you are going to share about um, what you discovered. Um, Annette looks at Tier 1 data mm -hmm. and then kind of sees how that looks in terms of our Tier 2 students. Right, so I was going to um, discuss with the staff about um, if a student earns a referral during the day that their data in check and check out should probably reflect that as well. Mm -hmm. and, or if if their data in check and check out is low, then perhaps you know they just that student may have earned a referral so that they should try to should match. Should match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we doing okay with that? Um, or we need to kind of reteach. Or you know, I think we always need to reteach a little bit, but that, I, mm -hmm. you know, I, I yeah. think it's important um, for the staff to remember. You know, sometimes even just to ask the students if they're coming from someplace else because of the way our periods are.